Oh man, I had some spit that got stuck in my mouth. He so <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are live. What's up, folks? This is Quit Playing episode 48. We are your host, Dewey Loase. Live with Enrique. Dang, 48? Yo, we're about to hit 50, bro. <laughs> the big 5 0. Yo, get out of here. That's crazy to me. Yeah, bro, it's exciting times, man. We're getting better. We uh, we are getting better. I know this is <laughs> uh, for for a lot of the. If y'all don't know, something most of the time, Enrique and I, we just be coming up on here and just like winging shit. But as of recently, <laughs> as of recently, I can assure you guys, we do have quality content talking about meaningful stuff. We do, t- but that's the thing. Like the majority of the time, we're like winging it, but we still like are talking about meaningful shit. This is true. So but as like, of recently, we've been winging a little, a little more often than we usually did. You know what I mean? That's true. Some of the, some of the topics we like come up with like right, right, like literally minutes before we go live. We're like, what are we gonna We're talk like, about oh, today? Bro, so what do you want to talk about today? But oh. that's the part. To be, to be <laughs> honest with you, that's I really like that part of it because it's not like it's scripted or anything it's like pure natural we're in front of the camera right sometimes like we ain't even shower like we just be jumping in front of this thing like you know like look at this guy he probably hasn't showered in days you know what i mean Weeks. but we don't no, <laughs> y'all, <just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can't smell us on camera though right but true so how's your day going bro tell me about your day uh it's not too bad i had meetings outside of work <laughs> um with Samias, with Nadine, with uh, an old friend, uh, partner. Uh, had meetings at work as well, uh, like a two-hour meeting. Uh, in the office, it was ridiculous, but I understood why we had it. It was more so of an update. That sounds boring, bro. It was very boring. But it's funny because I'm incriminating myself, but I had a meeting within a meeting, essentially. I had to. I, had, I didn't have a choice. Um, but, yeah, no, today has just been busy work, work, work. Uh, not that I, it, I'm complaining or anything. I, I love um, sitting down and, you know, putting in that work. But right now, just trying to enjoy the time that I got right now and trying to enjoy this show. How about how about you, bro? I saw you made a little cash yourself. You know, you you put in some work today. Uh, yeah, I kind of, you know, put my salesman hat on today after you work. Did. You did. I had a it was a pretty man. I'll tell you life. Life has been overwhelming, but it, I guess this is like a sign of growth, if I think about it. Like, I call it the three Ps. It's uh, my profession, professional, and personal life has been overwhelming um, in all different types of ways. Um, but today, I got home. I, man, so I put up these speakers on, on uh, market Facebook Marketplace. And, um, you know, for those of y'all that don't know, I opted out of the DJ business and uh um, true it's true you know they're just kind of there just collecting dust and you know it's not like i could bang these speakers inside the house it's just pretty it's pretty <laughs> pretty loud <laughs> anyways i got a bunch of contacts like it's very surprising that like how many people hit me up a lot of them were like low balling me i'm man i'm asking twelve twelve hundred dollars for these speakers and they're like they're way more than that and they'll be like Yo, I only got five hundred. Then why the fuck are you hitting me up, bro? Why are you bothering, like, bro? On my line. No, I don't want your five hundred dollars. Get off Give my me line. what I asked for, and that's what I want. <laughs> Anyways, somebody hit me up though, and they're like, I looked them up. You know, they they're a DJ themselves. They produce, and you know, all this stuff. They're like, Hey, man, you know, nine fifty. I was like, You know what, man? It's one of the better offers, but I'm gonna have to pass. 1200 is pretty firm yeah he's like oh i saw you had the bags we had these like totes that you put the speaker bags in and i'm like right yeah he's like 1050 <laughs> <laughs> so he said Fine, so he was like bad but i was like look man 1200 is pretty firm but if you do 1100 i'll give them to you I gave him to him. <laughs> oh, man, he made this sale, ladies I and gentlemen. I said, Chang, he set up a, had a had a nice little setup and everything. Like Yo. set up the speakers, play hit, played a played some music, showed him that the shit worked. True. He said, "Let me get some test, some True. test sounds up in there before I boop give you the money." Yup. Cash yeah. money, baby. Cash <laughs> Coronavirus. Money. Oh, no. For real. He walked up and I he really said, did. I should clean this, huh? 
said at uh, least i didn't smear it on my face right like oh uh, don't that do that yeah, yeah don't, don't do that, that. anyway when we got a freaking virus going around yeah i definitely wash my hands after i played with <laughs> my mother <laughs> you said <laughs> oh uh, you licked your finger and you said ooh probably shouldn't have done that <clears throat> while counting the money shout out to nana alvarez for coming through Ooh, she said video looks even more crisp but lighting on point Happy inauguration day. Shout out to Joe Biden. Shout out to coming to 46. My damn vice president. Yep. Uh I don't even know her name. <laughs> <laughs> he said he, he said I'm not even gonna fake it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fake it. Um but yeah, thanks. Uh I think it's the cords. We upgraded today to some <clears throat> Oh yeah, because of the four K. They're four K cords. And maybe that could Bro. have been the issue because Shout those out cords, to Enrique. Thanks, yo. But no, yeah, the, the cords were uh ten eighty with the ones that we were previously running on but this camera runs 4k this one's 1080 and then this one as well as 1080 but if you have proper cords pushing the proper output you're gonna get quality uh imaging. fantastic quality imaging yeah and uh yeah i'm actually really happy about it i'm i'm kind of bummed that the previous uh cords didn't work for us but I may hang on to them. I it's all right, bro. We're 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 moving on to bigger and better things. We're slowly upgrading and we're becoming better individuals. I uh, I heard that, yeah. So we did come up with a topic though that we wanted to touch on, and I, I'm I'm pretty. I, I like the topic that we're gonna discuss. It's uh we're we're <laughs> we're overworked and underpaid. We're, bro. Yeah, we're overworked and underpaid. And how how do you? How do you feel about that? Let me hear your thoughts on it. Uh, yeah. So like when I think I talked about it in pre uh, previous episodes where, you know, with the company that I'm at, they were just paying me while I was on the clock. So right. there was no contract. If this was extra work. I was, you know, doing a project for them, a whole movie. I also did a season launch for them. You know, I've taken time out of my day and my personal time off to shoot with their influencers and uh, shoot a couple ads. So it's just like, you know, you would assume uh, the business hat side of me would just be like, all right, enough is enough. But it was like that for a couple of years. And then it wasn't until I started bringing up contracts where I started to rock the boat. The waters yeah. were a little iffy, you know, and they'd be like, whoa, what's this? <sighs> You're what a businessman now? Yo, what right? is these con what are these contracts? I can't even read this, bro. It's so small and fine print. I think we need a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure, bro. Like, um I think I think about that all the time because it's just like I, I deal with that at on my person not my I mean like at my job too, because it's just like lately I've been having all types of responsibilities thrown at me that I don't necessarily like ask for. Right. And yeah. I'm just like Is this necessary? Is that does this fall I'm under like, my title? Yeah, like I'm not even getting paid like more money for this. Like I'm literally in positions of power to make decisions that that are above my pay grade. I mean, I got no problem taking the juice, but shit, give me a heads up. Right. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. I and then that. not only that in our profession and in, in, in dealing with with other companies, it's just like, yo, you're lending a helping hand and they're trying to take all of you. It's just like we just want you for us. You know what I mean? Right, and I'm exactly. like, like come, I'm not come down work with for that. Us, like, as opposed to approaching it You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yo, bro, we're here to help. We got no problem helping. And I'm not going to say no to the work. Exactly. But just know where we stand. Know that this doesn't last forever. Exactly. Expe especially the output and the responsibilities that you and I have been taking on. Hell yeah. And then, yeah, that goes to show, like, even with other projects and, like, other clients, you know, they've asked. And I'm, I'm happy when people are able to, you know, suck it up and bring their best foot forward and be transparent. Like, hey, this is pro bono. Right. Thank you for your honesty. I appreciate that. I might not be able to do it for you, but let me help you find someone that can right or you know what if you aren't, aren't able to afford me let me help you find someone that is in your price range or who's right. able to complete the job that you're looking for and there have been times where i have done things pro bono because right. i'm like this is great experience of course i'll do it pro bono you know you have to pick and choose your battles but at the same time it's just like you got to know your worth you know and especially when with clients where i've i've had them you know tell me okay we want you to do x y and z 
and they're like, oh, yeah, but we also need A, B, and C to be taken care of, too. And it's just like, <laughs> okay, that's I th- I Fine, think I think that's where where it becomes an issue for the the people trying to run the show. Yeah. Like it's a, like when you're working with someone that doesn't necessarily know their worth, not even their worth, just the value of the time that they have that they're providing. Right. You know, there then it's a lot easier to exploit and extract, you know, whatever work you want from that individual exactly but when a person is well aware of how much their time is worth and and what they can do with it like exactly and if they're willing to do okay so let's say you know you are willing to accept you know the other rest responsibilities that were thrown last minute that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and if you're not willing to uh you know further your charge because you know you guys have already discussed it you know, it, it's not something that can't be brought up later down the line. Right. You know right. what I mean? Because you were hired to do a specific job. They gave you more responsibilities and now you've gotten a bigger job. It's not that it's not up for negotiation. That Don't be afraid to ask for more money because you're doing more work. But, yeah, I feel like a lot of people can then tend to, like, feel discouraged to speak up and sometimes feel overworked on a project. And sometimes I feel like that's why r- work relationships, whether it be personal or with corporations, fail because communication and you know they 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 don't tend to speak up when they feel like yeah this is too much it feels like it's that group project where there there's that individual that didn't do shit like you didn't do shit like for to contribute to the project but they're getting like mad credit for it exactly you know what i'm saying like like, fuck out of (laughs) here you you ain't gonna show up to this project and not do nothing yeah straight up yeah but at the end of the day it does show um, what kind of individuals we are, that yeah. we are willing to step up and be proactive and learn things that we know nothing about, but we're going to find out, you know, whether exactly. or not we can pull our end of the bar. Or we're, it's almost like uh, we're going to find out and we're not going to fail. Like we put ourselves <clears throat> in that mindset where, all right, well, I'm going to fucking do it to the best of my ability. I'm going to get it done. Right. And that's all there is to it. Exactly. And even if, you know, like, uh, you know, your client or your your partner or, you know, the corporation that you're dealing with uh, is struggling to provide on their end. Right. You know, it, it's always nice to put your foot in and be like, well, I can take care of this for you. But don't forget that you don't want to be taken advantage of either. A hundred percent. You know, like it's great that you're enthusiastic and you're willing to learn new things to, you know, provide stuff for them that they couldn't provide for themselves. But at the same time, it's just like you got to let someone run their own business. And if they can't find someone to do a particular job that they were searching for and you're not able to do it, then don't overwork yourself. Like, you right, know, like right. same thing with uh, like, let's use Apple, for example, you're not going to see Steve Jobs in a store trying to manage the store. He's no. a CEO. Right. He's, He's managing the company. Exactly. You know, like you need to let them do them. And if they can't figure it out, that's on them. You are you were hired to do a specific job. Go and exceed in doing that job. Bro, you know, like, let me let me tell you what I was thinking about. Um, it's funny that you bring up the whole mindset of, of like a CEO and, and stuff like that. And part of... Part of what kind of keeps us down is the fact that we don't have a full on company. It's just us. We're here yeah. creating this from the ground up. We are fortunate to know about audio and camera. But you know what I did? What? I bought tickets for the Mega Millions. I bought well, I, I put sixty dollars worth of my money into the Mega Millions for a shot at eight hundred and fifty million dollars. Did I win? Do no, I didn't fucking no. win. I mean, but I, I was thinking about it. I was like, what would I do if I won all that money? What were the things that I would hit first? Yeah. And of course, you know, I'm gonna help out my family. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that out. True, wipe out myself. And then I was like, well, I got this company that Enrique and I are in, and you know, we're putting a lot of this money in. True. This is cool. But what would happen if we had our own studio? What would happen if we had all these cameras? Our own space. Like, our own space. Like, just everything. Everything was just, like... Taken care of. Exactly. The amount of content that we'd be able to produce, you know? Like, because we'd have all the resources that we need, you know? We wouldn't have to rely on uh, other resources like 
a space or exactly someone else to con- uh, contribute when we can do it on our own because we will have the resources. All of a ourselves. sudden, we yeah. we will go, we will turn into investors. Pretty much, we will be a hundred percent investors of our own company, and we wouldn't have to worry about anybody else. That's true. You know what I mean? Anyways. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I was like. Imagine. Yeah, just, I was like, if I would have just won by one number. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I, I didn't. I had a couple numbers, but I didn't have them all. I no? Was, no, I, didn't. I was pretty sad. Yeah, I've always wanted to invest in one of those, but I also thought, ah, do I really want to spend 60 bucks on this shit right now? Or do I want to put 100 bucks in right now? Yo, I literally went to the gas station. I told the guy at the clerk, I'm like, I've never played the lottery in my entire life. How does this work? And he's like, all right, well, you know. Uh, you get a, a strip of numbers for like two bucks and I was like he's like well what do you want I was like give me sixty dollars worth <laughs> <laughs> I got sixty dollars to spend this that's is all I got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn but yeah that was uh, that's what you, you were thinking about all day huh mm-hmm. damn I yeah. didn't even I didn't even tell nobody I was just like look I wonder, I didn't even I didn't even look at the the lottery numbers when they came out I guess they come out like a little bit before 10 o'clock 10 p.m. or whatever. Oh, okay. I didn't even think about it. I was hanging out with my girl. We were watching that show, You, on Netflix, and I was just like, oh, you know, if I win, I win. I'll f- find out tomorrow morning. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, as of right now, I'm going to just chill, you know, True. not even think about, about it. I ain't even stressed about it. Yeah, like, fuck True. it. And it's funny because I was I was having a similar uh, sort of mindset because I was looking at applying at a, for another credit card for a company. Right. At Rama, actually. Yeah. At Rama has their own Sick. credit cards. And Sick. I was just like, Yo, then I would just use this credit card strictly for camera equipment and just business needs. And I was like, wow, imagine what I could do with this money. I can buy more cameras. I can buy lenses. I can buy audio equipment. <laughs> like I, I was like, not have to worry about any fucking one. <laughs> right, exactly. And I was just like, should I apply for this credit card? Should I apply for this credit card? And I've been holding no, off on it. I was like, you know what? Let me just pay off the remaining debt that I got now. And, you know. Well, do, well keep in mind. Work like, on that credit, baby. That's true. Anyways, we'll talk about credit and money management <laughs> at, at, a a later, late, yeah, at a later time. Yeah, but more of the story. If you feel overwork, underpaid, don't be afraid to step up and say something. You yeah, gotta don't, speak don't, up. You yeah, know? even if you know, even if you know you're gonna go ahead and pull your end of the bargain up, just let it be known that you don't like that you're taking it on, but you ain't going, you ain't going back down because you ain't no bitch either. You know what I'm True. saying? True. Yeah, exactly. And then that that's. I love that you said that because I definitely want to touch on that. Just because, you know, they're, they're asking for your help, you don't have to decline. But don't be afraid to decline if you believe it is too much work. Right. And if you feel that it's not too much work, run up, show them up. Like, yo, uh, this is unfair. This is not okay. We will discuss. But I'm going to go ahead and dunk on you. I'm going to do it anyways, <laughs> baby. Show up on them, you know. Under promise, over deliver. But yeah, that was today's topic. Uh, on that. Talk shit. It was about overwork, underpaid. That's right, baby. And always, of course, be sure to know your worth, people. Yeah, know your worth. Step up to the plate, baby. <laughs> but now we're gonna jump into quit playing episode forty-eight. Forty-eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he said question mark. I was like. Hold on. Oh, this is, is this my turn? <laughs> yeah, it is your turn. We're your host, Dewey Loase. Live with Enrique. Let's get into this gameplay. Yeah, play. let's get into it. Yeah. Boom, baby. Damn, bro. I feel like I haven't played in forever, bro. It hasn't. Uh, yeah, yo, man. oh my gosh. Elephant in the room. Apologies that we missed Monday's episode. Oh, yeah. So, it was, uh, you know, speaking about <laughs> overworked <laughs> and underpaid. Oh, no. He's going <laughs> to no. say it. All right, say it, bro. What? Tell the people. What we did on Monday, being overworked. Man, we weren't being overworked. We weren't. We weren't. No, actually, I wanted to spend time with my girlfriend. Um, but yo, we killed it on Monday, though. We did. We did a lot on Monday. We uh, we actually got a chance to film this inter- uh, this uh, artist. His name was uh, Torres. All right, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Cause no, nah, come on, tell the nah. people what we were doing, bro. So we were actually filming this um, artist, Torres. He is a Pilsen, oh, you, he's an, a painter, a father, and uh, he does amazing pieces of art, and he's not too far, he's right here on uh, Blue Island, oh, no, no, I messed up, oh, 
and we were able to conduct oh. an interview with him with this exact same setup. And we have some content coming for the partnership that we have. Yeah, Enrique is going to be working on that. I'm pretty excited to see what he comes up with, to be honest with you. I'm excited to show the world what I'm doing. You, as well as my partner, are going to be the first to see. Oh, come on! That was ridiculous! I so had you on that spike. You got so lucky you escaped. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's it. Fuck. Yes, baby. We doing a series on this one? <laughs> you want to? Yeah. All right, but. Oh, God! Oh, my God. Oh, it was man. worth it. I it don't care. Because you said I was in three Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. You're going out this swinging. I love that. Me too, bro. But, yeah, Me too. an amazing artist. Um, Torres, who is underscore Torres on Instagram. Juan Fantastic. Juan Carlos yeah Juan, yeah, Juan Carlos, you're right. Uh, yeah, he just does some amazing work. And he, we've had, uh, well, not we, but the ones who do represent him had a, a, a showcasing in an event for his work and was able to sell some pieces, which was absolutely Ooh. awesome. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys ever get a chance to look at his work, please. Oh, dude. I thought it was uh, go check out his work because he does some amazing stuff. He paints people by their energy, it's not true. by their looks. And I'm like, on how he when he meets them, that was crazy to me. I said, but how though? How you do this? And Marino said the best. He's like, this man on the, he's on a new level. You know that song? Who is that by? Future or something? He's at first. He's at first. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what you think this is a game? Oh, you want that spike, huh? Uh. Okay. Oh, you escaped me. What? Oh. No, come on, baby. Oh man, I'm getting a little nervous, bro. My hands are getting clammy. Ah! Right on the forehead, baby. <laughs> Hold the wall. Oh. Hold the air oh. notch, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Stay in the line. Stay in the line. Oh what? Yo! Stage they played me. They did. You could I think you could have grabbed the stage too. But I think you air dodged a little too far off. Oh no! Oh no. Oh yes. Ah. He called the roll, ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They robbed you twice in this one, bro. Oh no. Yup, yeah, man. Uh, that's we, a good first uh, series. Oh, just a heads up. We're probably going to change the game next week. Oh yeah, that's right. Thank you for uh, bringing that up. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to run up on me. No more pro to play against. This is true, which I am very nervous about, to be honest. Uh, what you what we playing? Like, uh, we'll probably play like uh, Mario Kart uh, Mario Kart, or something like that, or Mario Party. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, and okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, this one's okay, going to be a little difficult for okay. me, but we're going to do it. <sighs> this one I don't usually have fun playing with because uh, Marino sure likes to keep his distance. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can you let me live? How about that? Okay, well, I guess you're not going to give me a chance. You're going to make me run up on you. Oh, nice. Bitch. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Eat that. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh. Fuck. Oh, he played that mic. He played so that mic.
Sure looks like I'm dead. Oh, nice. Real nice, mate. Come on, mate. No. Oh, gosh. I'm as good as dead. Oh. Come on, dude. I think. Oh, no. I know. Oh, what a spike, and it was a stage spike. Oh, my God. Oh, I saved oh! you. I saved you. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. This is some dookie. <sighs> well, I could have walked away with the three stock, but I didn't. Oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go crazy! Go crazy though, for real. Dang. Uh, I don't remember him looking like that every time he won, right? Like a zombie? No, yeah. I don't think so. He had oh, maybe because I'm always winning. <laughs> don't get it twisted, folks. That's not true. Actually, it's kind of true. <laughs> That's how you know I know that you don't win. I was like, what? That's that's what he looks like when he wins. <laughs> wow. He built a house too. Do you know that? No, not, no, no. Oh, never wow. seen it. Well, bro, you're about to see him more often now, Playboy. All right, bro. bro. You ready, bro? You ready, bro? Okay. You ready? You ready, bro? Oh my God. You ready, bro? Okay. You ready, Rebra? I love to fight you at a distance, but it's not working for me. I don't. I am not good at it. <sighs> You're better at fighting me from a distance. Boop, 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 boop. All I need, baby. You like that combo, bro? You like that combo? It was a good one, huh? Yeah. Uh, I, I would lie to you and say I've been working on it, but that's that's just a complete lie, bro. <laughs> that's not true. Yo, I'm surprised you're not using your uh, forward smash a lot. Oh my god. Will Dewey get his revenge? We'll, we'll see. Oh, pfft. damn, that dash attack just killed me, bro? That's ridiculous, bro. Yo, that was disrespectful, bro. Boo! Boo! Oh. Oh, no. Is this my death? Hey, I'm just trying to get a sword, bro. Bet, got it. Bet. Played me, bro. Bet. I wasn't even nowhere near. No, what a dingus! What yeah, that was, was that? Dumb. That was 
stupid. I meant to up smash, but I did a up air. <laughs> Fantastic. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. I was. Bro, I can't wait to beat you in Mario Kart, bro. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I don't. Look it's gonna be to boring. That. It's gonna be a boring show from how much I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> you think, bro? I play with the best Mario Kart player in this house. Day, well, not daily, but she's a challenge, bro. Who that? Nah, nah. That's who. Nah, nah. She's all right. I've beaten her before. Barely, bro. When? When? <laughs> Tell me when you beat her. <laughs> all the time, bro. I need to. Actually, I don't. Actually, I don't remember. <laughs> ever <laughs> play. I don't even remember playing. That I don't think I ever played her. Please yeah. hold. What are you doing, bro? Oh, I keep telling Enrique that he shouldn't be working and playing at. The I'm same on time. lunch. I'm on lunch, bro. <sighs> Is bro, can you imagine if you still worked at the office, what that effect would have on you? Uh, this show would be less frequent. Yeah. Everything would be less frequent for you. This is true. I would be hashtag sad boy vibes, to be honest. I'd be super mad sad. <laughs> but let's go. <gasps> but let's go. Oh, I was on the character. Whoopsie. I didn't even know we were going to do big boys. We just automatically fell on big boys. Oh, you didn't say big boys? No. I didn't say big boys at all, bro. I was like, we knew we wanted to do big boys. <laughs> oh. My, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Oh! <laughs> Boo! I, I like them. Mm. Come on. Oh, I was just gonna get you with just the tips, what? bro. The tips of my finger, but you skating. You trying to grab me, bro? I <laughs> think this is a game. Oh, yo, I'm nervous. Ah, no. That, oh, I did. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> he did. Uh, oh, the frustration grows real. I'm gonna win. I have to win. I'm gonna win. What? Oh, a lovely donk, my. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? Oh, that you? Oh. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? That was stupid. That was uh. beyond stupid. Yo, Angie, I just lost because of you, girl. Damn, she says sucks to suck. I remember that. Oh, will you look at that? I'm still alive, dude. Oh! <laughs> Do we want to kill, kill? Mm. Oh! The anticipation is killing me. Uh, uh. No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone! I'm alive! Oh god, oh no. It's all what? over to you! Fuck out of oh, oh, it! Oh. What a tag, ladies <laughs> no, and gentlemen. No, 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 get out of here! No! I'm dead? You yeah. dead, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Yo! Crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy, bro. I'm dead now for sure. <laughs> oh man, heart racing, boy. <laughs> oh my god, how did that happen? Yo, anxiety was on ten. <laughs> Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed that show, yeah, though. That we put on the <laughs> show for the peeps, yo. <laughs> Oh yeah, if y'all saw Peep the Bandana, uh, if y'all followed us on the Twitch days before we even started this show. Throwback live with Enrique right there. Had the bandana on. The bandana. I brought it back because the hair is long enough again. Yo, what a game. What a fantastic freaking game. That was legit. Legit AF. That was legitness. <laughs> Isa knows what I'm talking about. Oh! -ho! Oh! Oh! Damn. Get out of here. Oh my! 
my god. The noise. What? Oh. What? Fuck out of here. <sighs> Fuck out of here. No, 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 Fuck no, out of no, here, no, no, son. No, no. Yes. Are you still alive? <laughs> oh. What? Come on. Come on. Suck on that. Oh. Oh. oh, what? Oh no! That's it for you, bro. Oh, you made it. No, that was despicable. Oh, I jumped. Oh. What was that? I thought I grabbed. I thought I was gonna grab the ledge, bro. We need a game three now. <laughs> Yo, you can't. You can't deny that it wasn't a, a good fight though. Just cause you messed up, bro, doesn't doesn't mean it wasn't a good fight. All right, it was a good fight, bro. It was a good fight. It was a good. We're about to have a better fight. Cause this is. Game tres for all tree. the marbles. Game three, baby. For the marbles with the big boys. I'm going on a mission with the boys. The big marbles. <laughs> this is true, yes. Oh gosh, I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Go! Oh. I with your what? Fire, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even touch dude, me. Dude, that. that's stupid ass. Five <laughs> seconds. No, don't do that. No, I wasn't, I wasn't. Five seconds is all it took me to kill you, bro. That's so funny. For me, at least. Yo, that's crazy, bro. I don't think I've ever killed anybody that fast. Oh. Hiya! Hiya! Oh! Oh, oh. Dewey coming out with the oh. beautiful. I think that's it. Whoa! Fuck out of here! Oh. You saw that look. Oh. Oh, dude, and I died. Oh, you dead now. Oh, man. This is for all the marbles. We are the marbles. Oh, no. No, wow. Fantastico! Oh no! Bro, leave me alone, bro. I'm just supercharging this fist. You're about to get fist, bro. What? Later. <laughs> that was a good fight. Sure. Damn, I can't. How, bro? I was like at 37% sure. and that stupid, like, I don't know what the hell that was. What is that? I don't know. Uh, a spike. It was my forward uh, air. I said. That's some doo doo, bro. Dunk. Straight doo doo, bro. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, bro. It was it was meant to be. <sighs> Since you won, I'll let you pick the next uh, series. Swords. Okay. Who, who, who are we choosing? Random. Whoever you want to do on a count of three. Ready? One, two, three, three. go. Oh. What are the odds? I was going to pick Byleth because I thought you were going to pick Sephiroth, but no. Nah. You weren't feeling Sephiroth, huh? He's so, all right. So who's your go-to for swords? Is it Corn or is it Link? 
but I don't know. I, I like both of them. I just need to get better with my corn, because, I mean, my rod bin. Wow, I'm just tweaking today. Oh, nice. That reach. Oh, no. I wonder whose corn is better, because your link is better than mine. Oh, you got hit by the sword. That's what happens when you get thirsty, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, getting really good with corn. I don't know if I like it though. Oh, oh, I I feel like what frustrates me the most is that Robin doesn't have the same reach as corn. So my dumbass is struggling to like really get to you. Almost fell for it. Do it the first time. And I'm gonna do it the second. Oh, nice. Yes. Is that it? Oh, no. Got it. Oh, oh damn. Scary. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Oh. I've air dodged the wrong way. So stupid. Ho That's it. Oh my days! Scary was that, mate? That was scary. Oh, <laughs> Game two, baby. <laughs> Game two. Someone's Let's get it. I'm not happy. <laughs> Actually, that's because you your corn is, I believe, superior than my Robin. Because you've beat my Robin. Yes, I know. I know I have. But he's not too happy with the results. No, I am not. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the color. <laughs> Shut up. He said, let me be my bright pink, baby. Is yeah. he bright pink, y'all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, it's time for the fight to start. Oh, with the back air! Oh my god! Marino coming out with some back air moves that I wasn't even aware that he knew of. Mm. What? Oh. I didn't know his plan. Oh. Nice. Oh man, we dancing now, bro. This is a tango. Oh God, he said I ain't gonna 
gonna let you catch the ledge. I'm gonna catch you before you catch the ledge. Wow, that was dirty, bro. Marino's superior Corin is in the lead. Not for long, though. Oh, he said, you heal yourself, I, I give you right back. Ah! I missed you. This is scary, yo. No! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> like I'm trying to catch my breath, bro. What? Nice. That was real nice. Oh. Mm. Okay. No, I'm dead. Ah, I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> Damn it! Wow, it's come to this, huh, Marino? Oh, come on. Gosh, what are the odds? <sighs> oh, <laughs> Marina, you're stunned. Oh, my gosh, this is so great. Oh, my gosh, bro. I don't think this game is going to go the way I want it to go. I'm out, I'm out. Oh. bro I don't know if you noticed but I'm sweating a little bit knees weak arms are heavy there's vomit on his sweater already mom a spaghetti Yeah. Can he execute the W? Oh my. Oh, come on. Oh. The anticipation is killing me. That's not it for me. That's not it for me. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh man! I thought I was gonna grab onto the ledge. I'm mad I went over it. <laughs> oh my god. Now we need a game tree. Yes, game tree. <laughs> Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I don't oh, know about y'all, but man, that was this episode crazy. is pretty immaculate, <laughs> if you ask me, bro. Wow. Yo. 
These fights are good, bro. <laughs> These fights. I hope y'all are really enjoying today's yeah, show. Yeah, we got some energy going today. This is what happens when we take breaks. We kind of come back. We recharge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe this is what we needed. Maybe this is why we've been overwhelmed because we been, haven't been playing this game. True. We did have Monday's episode off, but it was all in the name of business. Taking care of business. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to put the show on hold, you know. We ain't at the point I can't wait to business. focus on this show, like, 100%, bro. So the show is business? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm excited for as well. For, you know, this as a business to thrive. Yo, and you know what? A lot of, uh, I think with Link, you used to be able to... Um, not able to deflect my my what oh it barely reached you you weren't able to reflect a lot of my stuff that i throw at you but with corin you can which is i think a little bit more frustrating because i try to keep you at a distance but it doesn't work for me okay is that okay Oh, nice. Real nice. Brrrah. Oh, that time he wants to grab the ledge, but any other time he's just like, nah, I'm gonna go over. If you lose the fight, you lose the fight. Stupid. Oh, <laughs> I got scared because you, you weren't gonna let me grab the ledge, and I said, "Let me pull down on my joystick to see if I can go down faster." <laughs> Bitch, I went down a lot faster. <laughs> I know. I'm taking it with you. Oh God! Oh God! Marina the goat. He's the best ever with the coins. <laughs> Yo, that was scary. Wait. That prior match, was that our first or our second? That was our second, right? Yeah. Uh, that was our second. I won the first one, you won the second one. This, yeah, because we said Oh, game yeah, because I didn't. I said game tree. Bet. Nice. Very nice. Wow. I don't know why. I feel like you're a little bit more unpredictable with Corin. I think you can do this so fast with her. Damn, I should have continued. I should have just kept the jab going. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Marino's back. He's back. <laughs> oh, Marino's hanging out by foot here. Bro, you know that was pure. That was pure like luck right there. I just did a simple up smash before I grabbed the or up air before I grabbed the ledge dog. What can I say? I I done knew what was gonna happen. I just didn't know it was gonna happen to that extent. It's gonna hit you. 
I knew that, but I don't think it was gonna. All right, bro. Let's uh, let's just continue on let's with the main fights. Yeah, okay? let's do our mains. And, and then, then it's, uh, it's, it's a it's a wrap. Wow, what a show Woo! today! Wow, I am. Uh, I'm loving this, bro. <laughs> I'm beat, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You did make me break a sweat. You are making me clinch these booty cheeks, and it doesn't happen very often. Okay, so you should be <laughs> somewhat satisfied that you've gotten this far. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. Let me do it again. Nice. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boop. Damn. I waited for you. I knew you were going to. If you didn't. Up. Oh. oh, you made it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to down there a little bit. So. Oh, real nice. You waited for that one, mate. You waited for that one. You did. Oh, bro, I think I would have killed myself if you didn't save me. That hit legit saved me, bro. Just want to let you know. Just want to let you know that you are my savior in this instance. That. Puka the Oh <laughs> Excuse me ladies and gentlemen. Oh my Oh my Oh my What's this? What's this? We push it everywhere. I just had to wait till you were at a higher percentage, bro. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't dope, though. Tell me that wasn't dope, though. It wasn't dope, though. Uh, yes, it was, bro. Just because you were thirsty and went for it, and you messed up after you saw me do it twice. Once the first time, which did not kill you. Then the second time, but I missed you. Why would you do it again? Look, bro, I don't like the way you're talking to me no. right now, bro. <laughs> Just wait till we get off camera, dog. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> he said, wait till we get off camera. He said, we gonna fight. He said, I can't do nothing on camera right now for legality issues, <laughs> but wait till the cameras turn off. <laughs> Damn, that's a little scary, bro. Tell your co-host, wait till the cameras are off. <laughs> I've been getting a little emotional lately. Uh, with these fights, bro? Yeah, with everything. With everything? What's wrong, bro? Why are you a little emotional? Oh, I hate losing, bro. Who who does enjoy losing? Who? Tell me who, Marino. And I'll be dead. Because I don't think... Oh, bitch. Oh, What's up, Emma Soto? If you don't follow Emma Soto on Instagram, then and fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> oh, she's at <laughs> She said, thank you for the love and support. She's, uh, she's definitely part of this show now. Uh, really? For real? She's that guest that just doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, wow. Marino's on something else. Marino is stepping up his Pikachu game. Oh, I was too short. Bra. 
boot the beat. Blah. Am I a fucking punching bag? Huh? Uh, huh? No. That's not true, Marina. That's not true. Uh, you are Master Chu. You are Master Pikachu. Oh, oh! Wow, this is exquisite. Oh, still off. Those are weird with you. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. Oh, you roll the way at the right second, bro. Wanna do another hit sooner, like that. Real nice. I don't even care. I don't even care, bro. <laughs> I don't even care. I didn't get three stock. On the last one. This is true. You escape that ugly fate. But I'm not a rapper. Just want to let y'all know, but I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. Sorry, bro. Wow. I beep, think beep, 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 beep. although we missed Monday's show, we definitely made up for it. Yeah, man. We had some good conversation. We had some good gameplay. Some good <laughs> fights, you know. Good old elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> you saw elbow grease. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in on today's episode. If, uh, you know, you usually don't. And yeah, don't forget don't, to, uh, you know, like and subscribe, you know, hit us up if you feel like playing. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Set that reminder, folks. That bell notification. We also set uh, the streams a week in advance to let you usually. remind yourself. <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> usually. Yeah, this time it's a little different because we've been busy. But you can assure that uh, we'll be here next week. Facts. That's a certainty. All right, folks, that was episode 48. Quit playing, talk shit. We're your host, Dewey Loase. Live with Enrique. Peace. Peace, you two.